This is take number three, if you can believe it. Something keeps going on with my camera. It's bugging the hell out of me. But again, this is the Sudeco 3D or Ring Part 6 or Part 5, whatever you want to call it. A wig edition from Japan. It comes in a really nice box set full of nice gloss. Uh, here's a picture showing the inside. It came with some art cards and like a 50-page booklet. And obviously the wig that is stap not stapled, but it's attached to the digibook that's inside it. So it comes out like that. So it is pretty cool. Um, definitely something I would be interested in. And uh, any for fans of the ring, I highly recommend it. So moving on before my camera dies out again. Yeah, number four is this one-way static record of Last House on the Left. This was an amazing release. Put out by, uh, as I said, one-way static. And they did two variants on this one. Uh, but for, before I get into that, I want to show you they included this white, uh, this translucent flexi disc, they call it. Uh, I think it actually plays on a record player. I haven't tried it yet, but um, yeah, it's pretty cool as an extra. They also had like a... a uh, an old-fashioned soundtrack cassette, but I didn't get that. Um, but as I, as you can see, this is number 166 of only 300 made. David Hess, uh, I believe, had a lot to do with this release, actually. And, uh, yeah, he, uh, there's some nice pictures here on the back, too. The gatefold that's inside, the inside of it, I can't show because, as I was saying in my last video, that... This sticker, I don't want to lose it because it has the actual number on it, and uh, it's on the it's on the you know the cellophane that's around it. So, but in any case, it thought my, I did get the liner notes out with the with the album, and I was saying in my last video that got deleted that this I just noticed that this guy looks like uh, the movie critic from Devil's Rejects who was crazy about uh, was it John Wayne or something? I think it was John Wayne. He was he was absolutely crazy about because Elvis died three days before. Remember that? That guy? He looks just like him. But uh, getting back to this release, uh, it has awesome pictures. It's just it's an amazing release. Sure, the soundtrack is not the greatest, so wacky. But they did come with two variants, colored variants. And I chose the virgin white colored uh, variant. There was also a reddish colored one. Uh, you won't see that listed on the website, but I'm guessing, I mean, what else can, it, why would they choose the color white? I just don't, I don't know what else they could symbolize with that. So anyway, I can't get it back in this jacket, so it'll stay like that. And I'm moving along kind of fast because I do not want this camera to die out on me again. This is Father's Day, put out by 84 Entertainment Hardbox, and... The great thing about this is it's not a three disc, it's not a four disc, it's not a five disc. It's a six disc edition that they had to split uh, and give you two hard boxes for the price of one basically uh, to fit it all. It, they came sandwiched together like that. They both have the same number, which is, I got a low number of number five on both of them. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it's absolutely amazing. I love the artwork on both of them. I probably would have bought both of these anyway, because I, I just love the movie and I love the cover art on both of these. But yeah, six discs but split up between DVDs, Blu-rays, bonus discs, there's a soundtrack, and just tons and tons of stuff on this. And uh, 84 Entertainment's kicking it with this these trauma editions. They're, they've been releasing a lot of trauma this year. My camera really can't pick it up there, but it says Trauma Edition number 21 already. They're up to. So, number three. Number two is the Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2 Arrow release. And I just kind of like grabbed everything out of it because I didn't want to pull it out with one hand. But it comes with a nice slip box there. It comes with a 100 page book in English because it's from Arrow over in the UK. So, really cool. And then it comes with, uh, I think it's, is it four? No, it's three. Three, uh, three Blu-rays, three discs that are region free. At least the movies are. I'm not sure about the special features. 
So it is absolutely awesome. It comes with a couple of inserts here. And uh, they actually have a limited number that a card that they give you on the back of one of these inserts. So you know which number you got if you care about that sort of thing. But yeah, this is a, a absolutely great release. And I'm going to try and do a, a review on this when I get some time. Uh, this is, but I could tell you right now, this is the version of Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2 to own. If you want, if you're looking for the best edition of that movie, there is no better. So definitely kudos to Arrow for a great release on that. Which leads me to number one, which you probably could have guessed is going to be this Walking Dead floating head fish tank. Yeah, I am, I am a fan of the TV show. Uh, you know, I admit that season two was a little slow. Season three started slow but ended good. I've been enjoying season four. Regardless of what you think about the series, this fish tank is badass, <laughs> and packaging will always go a long way with me. I mean, this is just unthinkable that they could make something like this, following up the zombie head from season two. You know, this is something every horror fan should have on their shelves. It's just just totally awesome. And I, I wanted to support them and uh, tell them to keep up the good work with these releases. And, uh, yeah, can't wait to see what they have in store for us for Season 4, which they should be announcing pretty soon, judging from how they did the past. So, uh, yeah, that is it for my Top 13. I screwed up on the numbering on the last one. I don't know if I already talked about this. I don't know. I think I called something number seven like three times. It's like I now I know why you guys write stuff down instead of winging it like I do. It's like, hey, here's number seven. Now let's go from number seven. Let's go to number seven. And then back here to number seven. It's like, oh God, what the hell's wrong with me? Anyway, that's going to do it. Hope you enjoyed this top 13 of 2013. Leave your comments below. Maybe I missed something. Maybe I forgot. Maybe I don't have it. But uh, interested in what you thought, what was your favorite release of 2013, let me know down below, and I'll talk to you soon.